Unbelievable, which is a eight-part true life crime drama on Netflix starring Tony Collette, uh, Merritt Weaver and Caitlin Diva happened to land on Netflix the week I went on holiday. So I went on the 14th, this landed on Friday the 13th. I felt compelled oh, yeah. to write a felt um compelled to write a piece which is on the website just so people knew how much I enjoyed it but it was annoying that we've wait we've through, through my absence we've had to talk about it now it begins with Marie Adler played by Caitlin Diva who's this young girl been in and out of foster care and is now sort of stable in her life in a program that looks after foster kids after foster care it's like it's like yeah. after care we would call yeah. it because obviously working where I am, we would sort of call it like the three care system. Yeah, I'm glad we country. got an insider to help us with that. Mm. Um, so she's sort of getting her life on track and it begins with her speaking to police shortly after uh, she's been raped. She describes a man in a mask and taping her hands. Her story sort of changes and she sees little flashbacks as to what occurred. And because of her level of shock, her story has some inconsistencies and eventually because her story has tiny holes in it the police sort of dismiss her and sort of strangely coerce her into mm. admitting that perhaps she made the whole thing up but what i thought was clever about that is that the police officers the two male police officers they weren't written as monsters who completely no. dismissed the girl which i really admired because it could be so easy to write them as two big elderly white men uh, sort of putting their viewpoint on this young girl, but they weren't viewed as monsters. Uh, and so that, that so it follows her story in the aftermath. And of... I suppose the other thing there was that one of her foster mothers also had doubts about what because she was of her saying. Life in foster care, she's been sort of. But because she had also experienced yeah. rape, this foster yeah. mother, and didn't feel that she was acting in the same way as the foster mother did when she was yeah. raped so yeah. she brought those views to the police which was part of the reason why yeah. the police put another ang put yeah another angle and i think it. and i suppose as well it's the having to tell this story again and again and again that was what they focused on in that first episode having to say to the initial police officer and then the detectives and yeah. then the, and then the forensics and then the police mm -hmm. again you know it's a scene for scene sort of reenactment of what hap you know what yeah. happens after you know a rape is investigated and the and the medical stuff and things like that and i thought that was all really sort of very well done yeah mm -hmm. it actually based on an article that yeah. was written about the event so which um, i which i subsequently read a while ago i put the information about this on the website and it was starring tony collette and merritt weaver and it was this cop drama and that's all i really knew and you don't see merritt weaver until the second episode so the whole first episode is centered purely on marie adler this caitlin divas character and the story that we've sort of explained there uh, it then moves on to episode two with merit weaver's character finding or comforting well, a woman which in the apartment three block. years later the, yeah the, i don't think they did a very good job at explaining the, that well, I think, no, they did. They showed you 2008 and then they showed you 2011 yeah. and every time they went back to 2008, they told yeah. you it was 2008. Um, so, yeah, so it's 2008 is the original rape of, of Marie mm -hmm. and her subsequent, um, you know, retraction of, of the the statement. And we um, should say because it was retracted, that means yeah. the case the case was closed and yeah. therefore didn't exist. And, on... and I suppose it, as well, it sort of impacted on her life going forward and the scenes. Oh, deeply. Yeah. The scenes with her, that they do intersperse these throughout the, the other bits that we're going to talk about now. Basically, the results of people seeing her as a liar, why would you lie about this? You know, mm. she, lose, she loses her place at, at this at-risk housing. She uh, loses her job. She moves back in with one of her foster mothers. It's yeah. just horrible anyway. So those scenes are in between the 2011 scenes, which are... Go on. Sorry, Mary Weaver. Uh, it is Mary Weaver as Detective Karen Duval. I didn't really buy her as Karen Duval. Not really the right name for her. But... <laughs> Well, it's, it's the only problem I have with the series. Well, that's, the, that's right. the woman's actual name, yeah, isn't know, it? It's very detective-y, isn't it, Duval? Um, detective Duval. It's not Rizzoli and Isles. <laughs> that's what it should have been. So, Karen Duval, played by Merritt Weaver, is this complete antithesis of the men that 
uh, Marie was having to deal with as, as officers. She's warm, she's engaging, she's calming, patient, attentive to the new victim's needs, who describes a worryingly similar attack where uh, the guy has a mask on, he tapes the hands, he makes them shower, he talks to them endlessly. Merit Weaver's Karen Duval uh, becomes really invested and somewhat obsessed with finding uh, this man. She then meets Tony Collette's character, who I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of because it's been three weeks. Race Rasmussen. That's it. Bought that. That was all right. Um, <laughs> uh, and she's sort of different in a way who, to... Who to doesn't Merit appear Weaver. till the end of episode, episode two, two. Who, yeah. you know, arguably the biggest name in the cast. And she Absolutely, doesn't yeah. And she's, she's very different uh, to Karen Duval, to the point, quite blunt, but still very sympathetic to what's been going on. And the, uh, as you can imagine, the two eventually meet and they do uh, get a link between all mm. these rapists, uh, between all these rapes, and they discover that it's basically US wide, it's country wide, it's all over the place, it's a similar MO. We haven't talked about many crime dramas this year, but truly, I've, I was involved in this from the off i thought caitlin diva was amazing i thought i mean merrick weaver i've loved ever since she told me about nurse jackie and i started that i've loved her mm -hmm. in everything i've ever seen i love her Emmy, emmy's acceptance speech when yeah, she i've got to go her. now bye, bye. <laughs> uh, she is what i described in every performance she's mm. warm she's empathetic you believe her as well i like the chemistry between her and tony collette yeah. those characters and, and reading the article it said that they they did strike up a rapport very quickly mm. and they do in this as well but There's... i liked even their little police unit as well you know the, yeah, the guys I, and girls that were working alongside yeah i i'm really upset in a way i i really enjoyed, i thought this was brilliant i'm yeah. upset that this is based on a true story Absolutely. because i'd like like another yes. series with Tony with Collette, two. Merritt Weaver, and I thought Dale Dickey as the, yes. sort of the older policewoman and Elias the intern, those yeah. four together were really good. We need but to find a way of bringing them back, but it yeah. just can't happen. No, but that, that police unit was really solid, really funny, really bounced off each other to get the facts and get the get to the next piece of the puzzle and things like that. And they, they do catch the 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 uh, the rapist and yeah. there's some really um powerful scenes where some of the women confront him and say you know why did you do this it's sort of at random the people he picks on i suppose it's vulnerable women isn't it it's you know the the student who's just moved the older widow marie who's obviously this this girl who's just come out of the care system um and they you know it's it's people who haven't locked their doors or you know the windows and you see very deliberately the scenes after marie has been raped that she's locking the door every time you know mm -hmm. she's turning that key she's doing things differently to to what she did previously and i watched all this in one day and i needed did a you hug really? yeah. i watched it all in two days i think no no like the saturday oh, watched really? it straight through from from beginning to end oh, i was just wow. i am that into it and actually i would recommend reading the article because it does yeah. give you a little bit more i suppose it didn't do that thing which annoys us sometimes of this is what happened to the characters afterwards um, yeah i don't know whether i needed that because uh, i knew i could find the yeah, article i suppose Marie is uh, married she's got children that is and, but, and she works as a long distance truck driver and this was directed by uh, lisa chaladenko who did the wonderful the kids are all right i don't know if yeah, you've ever seen that yeah, film um, okay. and another recommendation if you want to and, go and watch um, that sir adapted by Susanna Grant who who's quite a um, prolific screenwriter I believe she's Oscar nominated for Aaron Brockovich yeah. um and and I think the fact that it's uh, it's very similar to the act in that you know it's a female led cast true story. It's a true story and like you said the title here you know it's it's unbelievable the the way that you know that the, it was interconnected but also that marie's story was not believed by the mm. police to begin with so it's got mm. that double meaning i just think this was an you it's know it's just... one that stays with you oh, I don't, God. I, like the act i think i was watching because i wanted to see how they did it in this they kept giving you reasons to come back and it was absolutely i just think the 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 performances by all three actresses and i'll be interested to see next year's emmys who's nominated where who's put where because they probably were on screen the three of them about the same amount of time so yeah. um caitlin diva will probably end up being supporting because yeah. so. um but there we go but no this 
it, I suppose the, the one thing I would say, it's a challenging watch. It's a frustrating watch. But I, I, but I think frust- it's rewarding. Yeah, it's rewarding. It's, it's frustrating, but ultimately rewarding. But it is it is a hard, you know, it's not something you can switch your brain off and watch. I was uh, met with my brother last week and was rattling through a, a list of shows to recommend. And I did say, you know, this is one which is really good, but you will struggle with a little bit because it is. Certainly that first episode is extremely frustrating because you she's know... Just, she's just out of this mm. world, in it? Nobody could watch that and not be immediately on her side. Yeah. It is, she's I mean, so she brilliant. is as well in a film that I this year called Book Smart, I think it's called, yeah, where... I've her, seen that. And she's really good in that as well, isn't yes, she? she? Her is. and uh, Jonah Hill's sister, I can't remember her name. Be- Beanie Feldstein? Yeah. yeah. So this is sort of her breakout year. But her and Joey King, I think, are these, you know, breakout. And they're both disgustingly young. You know, they were both born in the late 90s. <laughs> I mean, one thing that struck me, we preview or watch a lot of Netflix dramas. And, and one thing that struck me is this is the most un netflix thing mm. I've ever seen. It's, re- it's not shouty. It's not loud. It's not brash. It's really tonally sort of level. Soft. It's, it's just on a level. Human, it's human level. Human, yeah. It's sort of for very human. And this doesn't feel like a big budget mm. Netflix show. And it is all the better for that, I think. Possibly don't binge it like me and Luke did. <laughs> like, it might be. But I you just, just want to, impossible not you want to, to not, keep watching yeah. and you want to see this rapist brought to justice. You're you know, so you're... invested in mm. they they are invested in the investigation and, and as a viewer I just felt like, come on, get there, you know, let's find out who this is and why this is happening and you know, really, really I can't remember the last time I saw a crime drama that managed to avoid all mm-hmm. the normal cliches and all the even the scenes of rape that you see very briefly through tiny flashbacks when Marie's thinking they're not over sensationalised, there's no, no dramatic music behind them it's not done like a horror show it is just very very simple and it is all the better for it and it is one of the shows of the year unbelievable on netflix watch it it's a difficult watch as matt says but ultimately incredibly rewarding and you'll be thinking about it for a long time very very good